Hey guys and good Monday morning to you. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I am going to go in today and I believe that this entire page is going to be done without paint. I know, I know, that's crazy. So here is a piece of wax paper that had some black paint on it. I got some beautiful Happy Mail from Jolie, um, a viewer, and um, also follows me on Instagram. She got a journal of mine recently and wanted to send me some goodies and some new giblets. So this um, vintage 1941 um, prescription, I actually drew a face on. And so I had it on my desk and I was like, I should use it in a page. So I also grabbed some other random scraps and giblets just around the desk and put them kind of close by. So as something grabbed my eye, I could just glue it down. And I'm just kind of going through the giblets and seeing if there's anything that really strikes the fancy. And uh, Jolie also sent me this, um, it's like a piece of canvas, like printed canvas, and it has stitching around the edges of it. And so I'm going to attach that with the super heavy gel matte medium and a palette knife. And so at first I decided I was going to use the pattern side and then I decided it it kind of took away from the face so I'm going to just glue down the pattern side and have the canvas. I love gluing down fabrics or stitching fabrics um, down whichever is the most convenient. Excuse me, I got hiccups at the time and so that was kind of my thought process there was I wanted to create a little something different than what paper can whenever you use fabrics and canvases and things like that. And then I had this little piece of the packing tape um, that kind of has the fibers through it. So it's kind of hard to tear, but I did get a little giblet to tear and I'm going to glue that down. I just tried to put water on it because it's gummed, the gum back packing tape stuff, but it did not work. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the super heavy matte gel medium. It's really not, I don't think it was necessary to go down with that, but I had it close by and why not? So that was the thought process there. And I'm just going to hold it a few seconds to let it adhere very well to the um, paper. And this journal is the um, journal that I got from Marcy Melanson. Um, I will attach her Instagram down. I've been using her journal now for, I don't know, probably about eight months or so and it has a variety of different pages and a variety of different um, substrates and sizes and all of the things in there so I love it and so if you're interested in one of those I'm going to leave a comment in the description you can link up with her on Instagram and see what she has available but she actually uses um, books so it's a hardcover it's really fun and here I'm going in with the wax paper. And the wax paper lends a very interesting um, way to collage because it, it pretty much dissolves into the back of the collage. Like you can't really, in my opinion, I don't think you could tell that it's wax paper once I get everything down. But I love that stark black against the contrast of all the neutrals. And this page is going to be very, very, very colorless. So, that's not usually my MO, but I really love it now that I played around with it. And I'm just adding the um, Lyra Graphite pencil so that the, and I'm doing it on the wax paper. You can see it creating a little bit of a resist there. Um, so we'll see how that works, but I'm going to dry it really well. And I just wanted that black to kind of um, 
let's see, what's the word? Kind of meander around the page opposed to being just in that one little spot. And here I'm kind of contemplating adding a little color to it with that scrapbook paper that I have in my hand. By the way, these are my most favorite nails that I've done in a long time. So, I do my nails at home if you did not know that and you missed the video. I did a video on the whole process. They're kind of like gel. They are gel nails. Um, but I used a little stencil on them today. And so, I really like them. They just caught my eye as I was doing this voiceover. And so I had the little canvas corner kind of popping up a little bit. And so, of course, I went and grabbed my long handle stapler. This is linked, I believe, in the um, down in the Amazon storefront. I'm pretty sure that the long handle stapler made the cut because I use it all the time. And now I'm going to go in with, um, again, using the heavy matte gel medium simply because it was convenient and it was right there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the back of this prescription with the girl's face. And I'm going to tack it down right in the corner. It's kind of where I was going. I wanted the holes where the prescription had gone um, I guess they had like a book or something that they kept them in. I wanted to keep the holes on the edge so I could use that to my advantage and to kind of play with some additional texture. And so that's why I kind of let it lay off the edge there a little bit. And now I'm kind of tinkering with the idea of using some red thread here out of convenience because it was right here. And that's how I make good life decisions is out of, <laughs> I'm just checking. <laughs> but I thought the red would add a little pop. And so the only way to really know how it's going to look is to just try it out, right? So I'm going to just weave this red thread back and forth, back and forth. And then I'm going to take a look at it. And decide that I did not like it. I like it much better on camera than I did at the particular that particular time. So I will say it wasn't awful. I didn't, you know, it just did not fit right with me at that moment. And so now I'm going to turn the book around out of the camera frame. And you see all of my little giblets over there to the side close by. And I'm going to add some staples um, just to give it a little bit of an additional texture. Um, I think that staples can add like a little bit of an industrial feel, which I really like um, in my journal. And that's why I made the decision to go ahead and tack that corner down with that just to add a little pizzazz. And I was just playing with the idea, do I really need the holes? Do I want the holes? Um, and I decided I do. So I'm going in here with just some regular, um, I think this is just like cotton thread that comes in like a big giant spool that I will probably be using for the rest of my life. And it's just a very neutral color. So it's not going to really pull your eye um, like that red did, which is fine because I wanted this face to be um, kind of the standpoint or focal point rather opposed to all the other things so I do like the neutral thread now look in hindsight I really like the red thread too so I don't guess you could have gone wrong here but I am just going to tear a little knot and allow that little edge to be free now I did not add any words today I just kind of contemplated with um, words and I opted to not put any on this page. I may come back and add some um, at a later time um, because I do find now looking at this on camera, I find that that top right corner 
Like it's so very stark white that I believe there's an opportunity there to add something. But for today's video, I'm just going to go in and add a little bit of this blending stump. So the blending stump already had charcoal on it. And I'm just allowing that charcoal to kind of pick up the rough edges of the masking tape, also known as my spirit animal. And I'm allowing it to pick up the little edges and kind of create a little light grunge around the masking tape, which I really love. And I think that this is about done. And then, I, as I'm looking at it, I decide that her mouth, um, apparently I had some bleed through on her um or something happened here. I'm not sure. Originally, I don't remember her mouth being like that. But then when I got on camera, it was. So, I wanted to just add a little definition to her lips. Um, and so, I did that with a charcoal, um, what's it called? Peel, peel, one of those peel away ones. Yeah, you know. And I'm just going to add a little pop um, and a little color there. And just darkening up her eye a little bit. And I'm really happy with her. I think she looks really good. And I did her in um, charcoal. So I hope that this has encouraged you today to get in there and make a big mess in your studio. And don't forget, click the subscribe button, leave me a comment, and give me a thumbs up. Until next time, guys. Toodaloo!